Hi, this is Matt McDonald. I'm the creator of Axis Game Factory. I've been asked by a whole lot of people to make a tutorial video so you guys understand how to import your scenes uh, that you make in AGF into Unity Free. This will also work with Unity Pro. There are some features that are different between AGF and Unity Free and Unity Pro, but both import the scene files from AGF. So what I'm going to do first is go to File, create a new project, and give my project a name. We'll go ahead and call this Demo01, Create. Now you see we have a new clean Unity project here, nothing in it. I'm going to delete this main camera from the hierarchy. I'm now going to import the custom package that is shipped with AGF Pro Premium. To find this package, you go to Custom Package. Depending on where you keep your Steam files, that's the location of the package. So mine are kept on C, Program Files x86. So I'm going to scroll down here to Steam. Going to go into Steam Apps. Going to go into Common. Going to go into Axis Game Factory. And here is the AGF Asset Packager and the AGF Scene Loader. We're going to import the AGF Scene Loader. Open. And now Unity is decompressing the package. So here's all the data that uh, Unity's found in our package file. And we're going to import all that. Now you can see from the lower left hand corner of the screen here there are some folders. You can open those up. On the readme file here it does give you some information on how to do this. So there is some information in the different packages. You'll also find these readme files in the other package as well for the asset packager. So the next thing I have to do is import a character controller. Now the character controllers come with Unity import those in the same way character controller right here imports and you import that data now you want to pick on the first person controller and drag that into your hierarchy open up this and you can see there's graphics and camera now you click on the window drop down and open up the AGF scene loader now we created a step-by-step -step process here and the buttons are pretty self-explanatory just read the buttons Click on the ones that are appropriate. The one that shows you the path here, I'm clicking on, also can be used for anybody that has their data in an unusual location that's not a default location for AGF. So for Steam users, we're going to go the same directory we went to before. And then select that folder. Click the back button. And now we we're going to import everything from a scene. Click the second button here. We're going to initiate the prefab. Click that button. You can see as the steps are completed, the check marks appear. We're going to now pick our camera. Create that prefab. You can see that checkbox is now completed. And now we're going to load our scene. So now we go to the directory that we have the scene saved. Mine's in New Projects. And I click on the scene file. Open. I edited the time it takes to import the asset packages and uh, load the scene file. It might take a significant more time on your machine. So be patient. Everything will load. As long as you don't see any red arrows in the lower left-hand corner of Unity, everything's loading correctly. You see there's a whole bunch of objects that Unity has imported from the AGF scene file. You can clean that up by creating an empty game object and move those objects into the empty game object. So now I've moved all the objects into the empty game object. I've named that game object so I know it's my level. And now I'm selecting my first person controller and putting it above the terrain. Now hit the play button and now here is your AGF scene in Unity. Depending on whether you have Unity Free or Unity Pro, some of the image effects are not available in Unity Free. AGF will accommodate this by omitting those from the load. 
You can see all the collisions work and the navigation works correctly. And then from here you're able to then build a standalone executable of this scene so that you can send it out to friends and or make a game from it. The only other issue we've run into with the AGF scene format in Unity is that it will not let you build a web player version of the scene. We're looking into that issue and we hope to have that resolved shortly. So if you have any additional questions about this, review the video again, read the readme files, and if none of that works, give me a call either on Skype or you can email me matt at axisgamefactory.com. My Skype handle is heavy H2O, O is in oxygen. Well, from all of us here at Axis Game Factory, I want to thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and thank you for all your support. Bye.